Hello there, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and oh my goodness, look at this 1958 founding father of rock and roll Jerry Lee Lewis concert poster from the Pacific Northwest made by Tillman Poster Printing Company. I am putting my money on this being the best Jerry Lee Lewis concert poster ever. I really think it's that great. It is the bomb. Look at that combination of red venue information on the top, the yellow colors, the cool graphics, all the song titles. Um, just a really imaginative layout. And of course, oh that photograph. Look at him. 22 year old kid on Sun Records. My goodness, one friend of mine described it once as he's snarling, sort of, with that shirt that was so common in high school back in the day. The entire poster is just so focused and simple and to the point and in your face. You know, that's what I love about the best boxing style concert posters, the exact opposite of psychedelic concert posters where you had to really figure out what they said with the, um, uh, you know, the, the scrawled writing and everything. Here it's just all really plainly laid out for you. And uh, these song titles, my goodness, this one has... Um, Five song titles all together. Notice sort of one under the circle and two on either side. And basically these are the last four A-sides. In fact, the only four A-sides that Jerry Lee Lewis had charted on Billboard's charts up to this time, including two songs that completely changed the world. And that, of course, is a whole lot of shaking going on and great balls of fire right there next to his picture. So, man, talk about adding um, gravitas to a poster to have those two song titles. I mean, those are... Those are arguably two of the, well, definitely two of the most important 25 rock and roll hits of the 1950s, and they're right here on this great-looking concert poster right next to the, the guy who created them. So, and interestingly, you also, as I said, under the circle, you have Breathless there, and that was a top 10 record earlier this year. And then you've got um, um, High School Confidential, and uh, yeah, I've already covered Breathless. Mean Woman Blues, that's it in the upper left. Mean Woman Blues, that's a crazy song title. And High School Confidential is actually misspelled to where it says High School Confidential. That's <laughs> I love those errors that uh, poster makers would make back then. I just out of um, either being careless or being careless, <laughs> and one or the other. And uh, Lewis actually played the song High School Confidential in the 1958 movie of the same name. So, rock and roll wise, things were going good for Jerry Lee, but on a personal front, not so well here in the summer of 1958. Um, seven months before this gig, he had married his 13-year-old cousin once removed. Uh, the media reported on it heavily, but didn't mention she turned 14 the next day. But um, that news had um, sort of broken out in May, just a couple of months before the show in England. And Lewis was over there for a tour of England, decided to bring along his new wife. And she just was blinded by the media spotlight, and they stuck a mic in her face, and she said, Well, I'm his cousin and just totally blew it, and so the tour fell apart, and after just two or three bad shows, Jerry Lee Lewis had to come back home, but unfortunately, his career was in a tailspin back home as well, so he started playing gigs for much less pay, so I guess that means <clears throat> this sort of falls into that much less pay category, but to me it doesn't diminish the poster, because it's, 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 got, it's, it's a 50's founding father rock and roll concert poster, and um, the personal troubles aside. What's kind of interesting, if you think about it, is Elvis Presley met Priscilla when she was just 14, but at least Elvis had the common sense to wait until she was 22 before he married her, so he got away with it. So here we have it, Jerry Lee Lewis and his pumping piano. That's what um, a lot of his son records and singles said at the time, and his pumping piano, and boy did he ever. And of course, his other nickname was The Killer, and it fits here because this poster kills me. It's one of my favorite 50s rock and roll posters ever, and I hope it, well, I hope it doesn't kill you, uh, <laughs> but I hope it thrilled you, okay? I, it certainly thrills me, and uh, I actually um, loaned this once to a Paris museum, a rock and roll exhibit in Paris, and they put it on display for a few months, so everybody, it's not just my opinion that this is a real winner, this is just great, so... Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Nice seeing you. Appreciate the time, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the poster. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.